Hello there, everyone. I'm Jake English, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. Last time we、uh, made some choices and mistakes with、uh, Team Q when we were told to decide who lives and who dies, basically. And this time. We will、uh, make some more mistakes with Team C and Junpei and Akane. And hopefully, there'll also be some more juicy drama because, as those of you who have played the games before know, Junpei and Akane were both two of the main characters in 999. Junpei was the player character and、uh, escaped and saved Akane's life, basically. But Akane was the mastermind behind all the things in 999. So,、uh, we'll find out what history they carry over there. Oh, and also, old Junpei and old Akane were also in、uh, VLR. So,、uh, what history they have and what history they are making together. Don't you know? So, yeah, let's jump to here and figure out what the hell's going on, right? <laughs> so, now, more pieces of the story all sliding together in a big old sexy jigsaw. Execution C! Ha ha ha. Huh? Prep room! Great. Oh, so there's. I guess each time they just say all of the various rooms that each voting block has. Oh! Why do they have control? That's kind of ominous. And a power room. I'm doubting any of these rooms actually work, but still. Oh, is that a. Free the Soul poster? I sure hope that isn't a Free the Soul poster. Ooh, microwave. Yay. Also, yeah, by the way, this is. this is, Okay, let's pause here for a second. This is an escape the room game as well, but I guess we haven't gotten to those parts yet. So you probably won't see the escape the room bits of this escape the room game until episode, I don't know, 10 or some shit. Jesus、oh, Christ. So this is the last room. What do you mean, last room? Yes. We've checked everywhere we could. Oh, I guess that's what they mean. Uh huh. It's a very. Gotta admit, the animation in this game,、uh, understandably, the, the team. Okay,、uh, again, sorry, backstory in.、Uh, now that we've sort of got a little bit of an idea of what we're going into, I can, I can take a break and a breather and sort of illuminate the world, but basically, yeah.、Um, this game, for those of you who have been watching and sort of squinting at the graphics, like, oh, that's kind of weird for 2016.、Um, all of the games before this one. Have been、uh, made as, as visual novels, basically.、Um, it, all of these whole cutscenes that this game is centered around are all new.、Uh, presumably a demand from Spike Chunsoft in order to make it more appealing to,、uh, to a wider crowd so more people would buy the game. Which seems to have worked, considering it was number three in the top selling games on Steam the day it came out. It's even during a seam, seam, Steam Summer sale. Where usually games selling for full price don't,、uh, don't sell very well. So it worked, but the team who made this game presumably is not exactly used to making cutscenes. So that part of it is a little,、uh, a little behind the times, as they say. And also, I'm sure the budget was the size of the、uh, small bowl of pasta I ate before filming this. So,、uh, so, so forgive it and understand that it's representational at best. As is in any、uh, visual novel game, really. So, map of Ward C. Just as Zero、pile. said, huh? What? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. Well, that's unfortunate. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. That's. You're really、don't、intense, Carlos. Don't tell me you're gonna vote. How can we not? If you don't vote, you、we、die, Akane. C team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. Yeah. But. But what, Akane? Hey. Do you think this could be part of the experiment? Oh, that's fair. DCOM's whole psychological test. God, Carlos is、nope. really intense. What? What do you mean, nope? That mask guy called himself Zero. There is that. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. Yeah, I guess Junpei would、so、know better than us. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our brains. Oh, right? an overdose. Yeah.、So、I guess. Sleeping and then.、Bam. Oh, or maybe. <laughs> There's a bunch of different. Stop、ones. doing sound effects, Junpei. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking dog. Maybe there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? I mean, 
What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? Ah, so it was Akane's idea. What do you mean? Yeah. All right, cool. Remember what Thanks, Zero Akane. said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C-Team could vote for D-Team, D-Team for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. Uh, it's a good plan. And that'd make it a three-way tie. A and no one would have to die? But how do we make sure they know to do it? Find a doily, probably. Yeah. Oh no. I am B4 when we play through D Team's route, they don't actually get the hey, note. Mira, oh god. Eric! Diana! Why would they Five, be able to hear you? Sigma! Can you hear us? Why aren't you. Oh, I guess that's uh, technically everybody. Damn it. Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the Shut morphogenetic up, field? Shut up, Huh? Morphogenetic such field? such a sass master. Oh my god. Hey, okay. Since Junpei's gonna be a little sassy shit and not explain anything, uh, the morphogenetic field, for those of you who, uh, again, are just jumping into this without knowing, and if, if you are, please, just... It's so much richer if you know the plotline of the other games first. But, for those of you just jumping in here, uh, the morphogenetic field was a, uh, a concept introduced in 999 and expanded on in Zero uh, VLR, where basically um, certain people, it's, it's psychics basically, certain people are espers and are able to tap into this big old field surrounding us all called the morphogenetic field, and through that, communicate with other people who can also tap into the morphic genetic field. There are other rules and regulations regarding it, but uh, th that's the basics, essentially. Oh. And there's another thing written in blood on the wall. Let the game end where I treat too. Aha. Uh -huh. What's this supposed to mean? You know, I normally I'd the game obsess. And something about two Thanks, people? Carlos. Helpful. Because the tough part is figuring out treat. Uh, if it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's uh -oh. a reward or a gift or something. Okay. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared That's for. That's true. Either way, it doesn't make sense. And is it two people hey, or two uh, other anyone things? anyone know what this thing could be? Who knows? Oh! A box. So everyone gets one of those. What's inside huh? of it? Interesting. Maybe some kind of white smoke. Atomate oh Baco? What? You've heard of it, Carlos? That's really specific. Hiroshima Taro, right? Okay. Japanese folklore. Oh, all right. Something about jumping through time, I think. Oh, no. This label says force quit box. Oh, I'm sure they'll that? illuminate that more Looks later. like there's I a hope. keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in. Uh -huh. But what, though? A timeline, Maybe probably. Maybe the game Zero's making us play. I would assume. Wait, wait. You really think Zero would put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. That's true. Oh, they're finally Do entering in a code. Work? Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. Yeah, you should know that by now. After that Sudoku incident way back when. <laughs> References! Sorry. So, uh... Each of the teams has a force quit box. There's so, a weird message on the wall, which now? normally I'd obsess over, but what I'm just gonna do? leave it for later now. Maybe we should just get this voting business over Agreed. with. Agreed. Junpei. What? No. We still have some time. Why would you wait? Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. Yeah, seriously. There's no point in waiting. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Um. Do you guys have any ideas? Yeah. Do you, any of you remember? Apparently not. God, Junpei with that dead stare. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, interesting. So the the second question is different, but I guess technically. Each of, so we each play as either Diana, Carlos, or Q, right? And both Junpei and Akane, Phi and Sigma, and Eric and Mira are in a relationship, or at least they have a history together. So let's let's uh, ask these questions, and then we'll continue next time on a very English zero time dilemma. Akane Kurashiki. Oh, they know the full Junpei names. Junpei Tenmyoji. Ah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler, by the way. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. Uh -huh. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. Oh. He mentioned it back in DCOM. So how did Sigma know? We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Thanks for the... Information spreads fast. Thanks for the uh, plot there. 
So, Exposition. whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? Mm. No, we didn't. No, I would think it would be, have to we be a coincidence. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? Yeah, it's, it is not a chance. It wasn't a coincidence. Of course it wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Oh. That's... He's really serious. Uh, hold on a Why second, guys. Pausing for a moment. Back! Sorry about that. Uh, had a little, uh... Dirk sent me over... Because of you guys, mostly. Dirk sent me over a little, uh... You know how he has a penchant for making robot animals, right? He sent me over a little robot puppy. But it also is... It's a puppy, and it's adorable. But, you, but you know... Okay, alright. You know, we're just gonna pause here. We're gonna pause here, and then we'll get back to figuring out why it wasn't a coincidence, and why Junpei is so fucking intense about fucking everything. Especially about Akane, for obvious reasons. But still. But, but okay. Alright. Dirk has this thing, right? And Dirk, feel free to comment throughout this, because I know you will. Dirk has this thing for building robot animals. And he also has this thing for building robots with various modes, some of which are very chill and adorable, and some of which are very intense. Um, apparently, Jane, he built her a little bunny named Little Sebastian, who, uh, who had a, who, had, who was like a, a little feisty dancer and all sorts of nice cute things, and then was also a fucking, like, murderous robo-ninja. And for the dog, because Dirk is an asshole and wonderful and an asshole, the dog has two modes. Adorable, tiny, Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy mode. And also, get up and walk around, anthropomorphic furry mode. And you can all guess what the furry mode entails. So, sometimes it will knock on my door while I'm doing things and, uh, request things, which I must, uh... It gives putting an animal down a new, a new meaning, a new context, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't kill it, never mind. Anyways, so next time, on a very English Zero Time Dilemma, more dramatic plot, more revelations, and more furry dongas. <laughs> Hopefully not the last one. Dirk, go fuck yourself. Love you, babe. And love you all too. Bye.